I have a uh, free to download 3D model that I got. Uh, first thing I need to do is I need to make sure that it's rigged and that the animation type is set to humanoid. Uh, afterwards, I can just simply put it inside of my uh, project. Um, what I have to do first is because it's a prefab, I need to unpack it. After unpacking, I have to find the wrist bone that I want to, uh, of, the, of the hand that I want to animate. So I have to open the spines up. Uh, right upper arm, right lower arm and hand, and here it is. So um, when you uh, purchase our gloves or any other managed product, you always get all the plugins for free. Um, inside of these plugins, we have scripts that, for example, generate how uh, a hand retargeting happens inside of Unity. Um, what I will do now is make use of that script. And I simply, after I put it the script uh, uh, into my Unity project, which I've done already, um, I can simply click on add component, type in hand, and you see this hand icon. Uh, now what I have to do is I have to let the script know what type of hand we're using, the right hand in this case. And I add another component to actually animate the hand. Again, I have to say which hand model type it is, right hand, and then I have to allocate the wrist bone. And now I can make the script um, set up the bones itself. You can do this either manually or um, generate it with, um, so that the, the, the script finds the bones itself, or you can do it by names if, if it's mapped well. In my opinion, names is always the easiest way to go. Um, and then simply click calculate access and then it generates the uh, standard access. Uh, if you want to change these, it's all possible, of course. You just simply go back and you can change all the boundaries of how you want the fingers, individual fingers to stretch or how you want them to spread. Um, now, simply I press play and that's it. Now, my hand is fully animated, as you can see. You can do finger spreading and depending on the model, um, you can uh, make your own adjustments to make it look better because Obviously, I've done this for a, um, for a 3D model that I just found online. And as you can see, it works already. It took a few minutes and we're done.